Hey Tyler, what are we talking about today? Oh buddy, today we are talking about the best Oakley safety glasses. But how do we know they're the best? Uh, you're gonna have to trust me. Prove it. All right. You're a real good shot, man. Hey guys, this is Tyler. And I'm here with my buddy Andrew, and obviously we're talking to you about the best safety glasses made by Oakley. We don't have a ton of options, but they are actually safety rated, right? That is correct. So while many Oakley glasses pass ANSI tests, um, these ones actually went through and pass all those tests and are actually certified, meaning the frame has been stamped. Right, yeah, so uh, if you've seen in some of our, our other videos, we did a, an Oakley, are they worth it video, uh, which is pretty worthwhile. We did mention that, you know, while a lot of their frames already meet or exceed the ANSI standard, they don't have that stamp because they didn't go through the certification process, but these actually did. Uh, so we have two RXable options and we have two non-RXable options. Uh, these are the shield design. Not really possible to do Oakley's prescription version of a shield, which is an embedded lens. You can't do that and maintain the safety standards. So these guys are non erectable but a ton of coverage. Exactly. So let's just start with this guy. This is the Tombstone Spoil. Uh, a lot of people really, really like this frame style because of how minimalist, minimalistic it is. Really as close to rimless as you can get. You have no frame on the top, no frame on the bottom. Uh, standalone nose piece, ton of grip on this. You have that unobtainium on the temple, a bunch of it on the bridge. I love seeing it on the bridge, uh, especially in that saddle style because of the comfort, because it just keeps it crazy sticky tacky on your face. Yeah, it's super lightweight too. Feels like nothing is on. Let me throw that on. So it is more of a large fit, medium to large, even XL fit, honestly. Mm -hmm especially with how flexible that lens is. So it's a little big for us, but still a really good frame. And then uh, let's say next up, a similar frame in terms of the coverage and the shield design. We have the M-Frame 2.0, uh, and a lot of people like the, the meteor look that you get with this. But again, you have a ton of, actually more rubber on this, whereas on the, the Tombstone, you have just a, a slip, slip, Slip. What word am I looking for? You just uh, you just have less. It just, yeah, well, this coats the entire temple it, arm there, yeah. and this is just found on the bottom, which is is fine because that's a contact point. But if you want a little bit more, a little bit more grip, this is a better option. A little bit more. But all of this is using the O matter frame material, so like you would expect from Oakley, super flexible, gives you that grip uh, and tension without increasing pressure that would make them uncomfortable after wearing them for a little while but you get that same saddle nose bridge, get all that O-matter and, or sorry, rather the unobtainium, and it's just a cool frame. One thing to note about this, uh, I have gotten some, I can't think of the, there's like a wind guard uh, additional piece that some people think is a an RX or prescription like adapter or insert. Unfortunately, there really and truly is no RX option for this frame, uh, but still a really good frame in its own right. Next, we have the ever popular and amazing deck cord for those who really like the look of the gas can and the, uh, what are the other styles that I'm looking for? Fuel cell. Fuel cell. Crankshaft. Kind of lives within that family. A larger fit on this as well. It, it really is a big lens and it may not look huge on me, but overall the coverage that you get is pretty incredible. Extremely RXable. Uh, we can most likely help you out. Just call us and we can help you and, and figure out if, if this works for you, but that is the deck cord. One thing to note, not uh, the grip on the ears, but you do have the grip on the nose, so it's mm -hmm. gonna stay on your face really well. And contrast that with Oakley's newer, okay, at least newer for us. This is a shock mm -hmm. tube. It's existed in the SI Correct. world, right, for Correct. a while. And this one, so this actually meets ballistic standards, which automatically qualify it for ANSI. And you'll notice the frame is stamped ANSI, 
So if you need it, uh, ANSI approved, we can do that for you. Yeah, and I was surprised to know, and if you're familiar with some of the others, like the racing jacket, this this hinge here, they have a name for it, which I should know, but uh, it, it looks like it should be interchangeable, which you can you can update if you get a prescription or you want other lenses, you can have it updated, but it's not super easy to interchange, so keep that in mind. But an amazing frame still. Again, straight temple is all Oakley's are, but no grip on the temple, but it does have the grip on the nose piece. And maybe a little more fitting for a medium, but definitely still a large frame fit in the shock tube. The other thing I like about this is the temples being a bit thinner. So if you need to wear it under a hard hat, under a helmet, anything like that, you aren't gonna have any problems there. It's a true story. And it's a cool looking frame. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up if it was. Uh, hit us down below if you have any questions, comments. Check us out on Instagram at SportRx. Why not? See you out there.